In this video, we're going to add audio to a button. So we have this start menu, and what I want to happen is when I bring my mouse over this button for a sound to go off. Um, you do have to do it on a hover rather than a press, otherwise you won't hear it on the button. But um, just to show you how to attach sound to a button. Now, for most games, I would probably recommend against this because it does get annoying quite quickly. But I'm going to show you how to do it. So. We do have to set up a script for this and we do have to add some more audio. So let's just add the audio first and we'll go from there. So select your audio track. Now I've gone ahead of time and downloaded um, a sound from a place called freesound.org and then I've converted it in, in Zamzar, which I've converted this one to WAV. If you remember rightly, um, Goda only likes O. OGG files or WAV. It doesn't like MP3s, it doesn't like playing them, so you, you will have to convert these. So let's grab that sound and let's just drop it onto the audio and let's just make sure it's in there. So here's our new sound that we're going to be using. So the first thing we need to do is be on the main menu and we've got a script already set up, so we're good there. And now we're going to set up another signal for our start game button. So if we just select the start game button and come over to node, now the signal that we're going to set up, so I am on signals here, the signal we're going to set up is one that says something like entered. So it's mouse entered, there it is there. So if I select mouse entered and then press connect, just make sure we're on the main menu, make sure we're on the button and then we can connect this and then it will take us over to our script. So all it's done is just moved us from our 2D menu to our scripts and it's just created this really simple function. So inside of here we just need to create one line of code. Now the line of code we need is actually for a new node but we haven't created the node yet. So let's go back over here and let's just grab the node. So we're going to say main menu and then we're going to go plus and what we want is an audio stream player. So type in the word audio and if you've used it before it will be over here but if you haven't we're going to go for this absolute sim the simplest one they have so I'm just going to double click on that and then I'm just going to rename it to hit sound. Okay and then just press away from it and notice that I have put a capital in there and that you will need to remember that for the code. So we have our hit sound and let's just attach the audio. So we have a hit sound, here's the audio that we want. So let's just grab that and put it into the stream empty so that's ready to go. Now let's head back over to our code. So if we're on the main menu and we click on script we have this button here. So this is the function that says on the start game button when the mouse enters do something. So the first thing we need is a dollar sign. Now the dollar sign is as a way of attaching a node. So the node that we're trying to attach is this hit sound. So if we just start typing hit and it should come up in the box and allow us to complete it. So there it is. So dollar sign hit sound remember the capital H and then we say dot play. And once again, we can complete it. It just needs the brackets at the end. So it's hit sound dot play, and that's pretty much it. So now, every time we enter into, every time we enter into the button, that should work. So let's have, let's give that a go. So if we say file save, save all scenes, and go back to our two D menu, and let's run this and see what happens. So we've got our background music running and we should hear a big beep as I roll my mouse into the button. There we go. And do it again. <laughs> you can get it in time if you like. Okay. So as you can see, that works and we are finished. So that's how you add sound to a button.